Good morning, children, and welcome to Sunday School Online. It's so good to see all of you here today. Are we excited to learn God's Word? We are. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to start off with a word of prayer, and then we'll get into our worship time. All right, children? Yeah. Let us pray. Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for coming here today with us, for being present with us, oh, Father. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for being our friend, for being our Father. We thank you for the love that you give us so freely lord god though we are undeserving you still choose to love us so god we thank you and i pray lord jesus for every child every um every guardian, every parent that is watching this today, I pray, Lord Jesus, that they will learn something from this lesson, oh, Father, that they will take it with them throughout the week and throughout the rest of their lives, oh, God. Soften their hearts and get and ready them for the word of God. So we worship you and we give you praise. We give you honor. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, children. So it's time for worship. It's a special time for worship. And what do we do when it's time for worship? We stand up and we energize. Woo! Yeah. All right. Let's sing. Today we're going to sing about mercy and love and joy and friendship. Okay? I know you guys know which song I'm going to sing right now. Yeah? It's falling, it's falling, it's falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, it's falling all over me. Sing, mercy is falling. Mercy is falling, it's falling, it's falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, it's falling all over me. God's mercy, we say, love, 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 love. What is love? Love is patient. Love is kind. It doesn't envy. It does not boast and is not proud. Love is patient. Let's remember that, children. 
And even as we sing about love, we have to remember one of the greatest commandments God gave us is to love our brothers and sisters, love our neighbors as we love ourselves, right? So we should remember to love each other because our brothers are every, and our sisters and our parents and everyone around us, we should love them. God for all our brothers, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers, our friends that God has given us without measure. Amen. Amen. All right, children. So our lesson of the day is something interesting. Now that remember what our lesson was last week, Joseph and his and how and Joseph had finally revealed who he was to his brothers, right? And remember, we were all rejoicing with them. Finally, they were able to forgive each other. Finally, we were able to see them um, love one another. And Joseph was now finally able to be reunited with his brothers. But guess who is still out of the picture? Jacob. Remember who Jacob was? Joseph's father. So Jacob is still yet to know that his son is alive. And remember just how much Jacob loved Joseph. So can we imagine just how excited he's going to be when he finds out? Hmm, right? And so um, the news gets to Pharaoh that Joseph has reunited with his brothers from Canaan. And Pharaoh is like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Let him invite his whole family to come to Egypt, right? And so Joseph um, tells his brothers and tells, the, tells the, uh, their brothers to load up their animals and hurry back to Canaan to bring their father and all their possessions, all their wives, all their children with them back to Egypt because he's going to take care of them, right? And so he promised that he would give them the best of the lands, the best of the land's produce as well, to keep them away from the di from dying during the famine. Um, and this is uh, this is amazing because you know all the, when all the things that happened to Joseph uh, with his family, I can on, I can only imagine just how much it took of for him to do that. But that's what forgiveness does, children. And we learned this in the last ses session. Forgiveness gives you the capacity to love, right? Gives you the capacity to love again. And so here he is saying, I love you all. Please, please go and bring my father. And he gives them, a, fills their cuts all up with food and gifts for his father. He, give, he gave them 20 donkeys, 10 male donkeys, 10 
female donkeys and 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 they were carrying gifts for his father all kinds of foods all kinds of linens everything right and to benjamin he gave cl- uh, new clothes five sets of new clothes and filled even double the amount of the other brothers and so they went back with so much more than they even came with in the first place and so they went and they ra- they hurried back to their father in canaan and they got got to canaan and they found their father and they said, Father, our, our brother Joseph is alive and he is a ruler over the lands in Egypt, governor over all the foods. He is prospering in Egypt. And can you imagine how Jacob was shocked? Because according to Jacob, my son died when he was around 18 years old and he was killed by an animal. And I even have his cloak here to show proof that he was taken by that animal. So I can only imagine. So he was shocked. He said, huh? What do you mean? My Joseph, are you sure you're not confusing it with another Joseph? Children, how many Josephs do you know? You know Joseph is a common common name. I think me, I know like maybe five Josephs. Can you imagine? So maybe he was thinking, you're confusing with, uh, wait, you're confusing with another Joseph? Stop, 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 you're confusing. Because my Joseph, I don't know where he is, but he's not, yeah, in Egypt. But they're like, Father, no. Truly, truly, our brother, w- w- is, is our brother is alive and in Egypt. And they said everything that Joseph had told them um, about how Joseph could recall and remember everything about their family. And he sh- and they showed him all the gifts that Joseph had given him. And that's when he believed. He was like, because this wouldn't come from a stranger. All these things, especially during famine, that's the only truth in this is that that is my son. And he exclaimed and said, I must go to see him. Immediately I must go to see him. He was so happy. He was so full of happiness. He exclaimed and he said, please take me to my son. Take me to my son. And so that's where we, f- we see the, the story ending with Jacob finally knowing about Joseph's Joseph being alive and prospering in Egypt and him wanting to go as fast as he can back to Egypt to see his son, right? And so in this story, there's a couple of lessons that we can learn from this story, children. And one of those stories is that God revives our spirit, right? God revives our spirit. Because one thing that happened that was very special when um, Jacob was told about Joseph is when he realized that his son was alive that all of a sudden his spirit was revived by God his spirit was revived by God he had been so downcast for so many years his spirit was so sad you know oh I lost my son oh I lost my wife you know he just his spirit was not as joyful as it would have been. But in this scenario, his spirit was revived. And so, children, I'd like to tell you um, that sometimes when we feel sad, when we feel really, really, really down, when we don't, have you ever felt so down? You even wonder, like, why do I feel so down? Maybe something happened and you are punished by your mom or dad, and you're just like, this is, I just feel so sad. Oftentimes, that's our spirit feeling that way, okay? Our spirit is what, you know, we are, we are made of, of, many things us as humans we have a spirit a soul and a body and so our spirit is like it governs our our emotions a lot of the time and so oftentimes our spirit is one that feels so down so sad so you know yeah and so this is how i can imagine that um that joe jacob felt but guess what god revived his spirit by re- by telling by revealing to him that Joseph was still alive and so children I like to tell you when you're feeling down when you're feeling low ask God God please revive my spirit what is to revive to revive is to breathe life into to revive is to bring back the the joy to bring back life into something something that feels dead is to be revived by 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 getting life again right and that's what god does god comes and he breathes breathes life into us and our spirit is revived it's like we take a deep breath in and we receive his his breath of life and we feel revived and so when you feel emotional when you're feeling sad not only you but also your parents maybe you notice your mom is feeling down recently maybe you notice your dad is not very happy maybe your dad is stressed just pray god please revive my parents spirit please revive my spirit please revive my mom's spirit breathe life into her spirit and trust you me god always is faithful when it comes to that he will re- he will breathe
breathe life into into you and into your spirit. And so that's one of the lessons that we learn from these children. And I wonder, is there any other lesson that we learn, teacher care? Do you think there's any lesson that you've learned from this um, this reading? Yeah, so there is something that I'm learning that is important. Mm -hmm. That uh, as children of God, we are supposed to love one another mm. and not to quarrel one another, even if we disagree. So I remember uh, Joseph telling the brothers, when you're going home, when you're going back to call daddy and to bring daddy here, mm. don't quarrel on your way home. So it's important that we love one another and we should not quarrel even amongst ourselves. Yes, that is so true. And that's why we sang my brother, my brother and I, right? Yeah. Because we have been given the opportunity to have siblings. You know, some children, um, you know, maybe don't have siblings or lost their siblings. And if you don't have a sibling, that's okay. God gives you friends and God gives you family regardless. But we should always our brothers and sisters, even the ones that are just our friends, we should really, really hold on to them. And quarreling, quarreling is really, it takes us nowhere. Quarreling takes us nowhere. So be able to have a decent conversation with someone without wanting to, you know, quarrel. Quarreling is not good. And that's why Joseph told his brothers, don't quarrel on your way there because he just knew eh, eh, those brothers of mine, they tend to get into a lot of quarrels that don't, that just waste their time, right? So quarreling doesn't get us anywhere. So let's try our best children not to quarrel. quarrel. All right. We've come to the end of our lesson today. And I'd like to invite us to a time of giving an offertory and the pay bill is 30 30 36 and the account number or account name is children's sunday school yeah so not children's sunday school um and now let me pray even as we give and um close off this lesson Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Father, for this day. We thank you for what we've learned, oh God. We thank you, Father, that what we've learned can take us, Lord Jesus, into the rest of our week, into the rest of our lives with knowledge and wisdom that only comes from you. So, God, I pray, Lord God, a blessing upon every family um, of every child that is here today, Lord God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would just bless them, add into their lives, oh God, even as they give, oh Lord Jesus. May they be giving from a place that says you have already given them and therefore they give back to you what you've given them. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you, would that you will provide every single one of their needs according to riches and glory and that you will protect them, continue to protect them, O oh God, that they will surrender into your will and that, Father, Lord God, they will be able to see your, your beauty and your joy in the land of the living. So we worship you and we give you praise. We give you honor. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Let's sing about how our brothers and our sisters and our mothers and our fathers are just amazing and they are blessings from God, right? I hope you sing this to a friend today, this week. Hey. My brother, my brother and I, my brother, my brother and I, we them to pull brother that God gave without measure. See you next Sunday.